So, what brings you here today? I, I, I saw this big Pakistan and I was like, oh, they're hosting in the U.S.? Where are they hosting? Waterhill? You know, you're always a very familiar with the local conditions. How do you see it going for this weekend? I mean, I think that, you know, you know, we, the first match was canceled because of weather. Today we have a chance. I think tomorrow we have a better chance. How do you feel about these last two days here in South Florida? Um, coming here to see what cricket is all about. Um, how's it been? Well, I would love to see what it's all about and to enjoy the sport. Welcome again to 50V and another exclusive. Today we have Chuck. Chuck. Chuck is a Miami native who is a new cricket fan based on the victory on uh, last week between the United States and Pakistan. Chuck, what brings you here today? I, I, I saw this big Pakistan and I was like, oh, they're hosting in the U.S.? Where are they hosting? Water Hill, that's down the fucking street. So I was like, let me go watch these boys play Ireland and they have a good time. Unfortunately, you know, it's not happening, but I was like, let me just show out for the boys and cheer the lads on, and that's why I came here for a good time. Well, they didn't win. Awesome. Chuck is having a great time here, and they were just chanting, USA, USA. As you can see, he's wearing an interesting outfit here, sporting the Star Spangled Banner. Never been so spangled Chuck, in my life. What is the inspiration behind this outfit you're wearing right now? Oh, you know, USA, baby. Trying to support the boys. I'm here, to, I'm here to motivate them. Unfortunately, I can't, but that's why I'm here. I want, to see, I want them to see me, and I want them to hit dingers. I'm here to watch dingers, baby. Nice. Not only, not only is it nice to play, but to, to watch a game, but, but it's, even, it's even more fun. It's even better to play. Are you thinking about playing this lovely sport of cricket? <laughs> to be honest, probably not. Um, I think it's interesting to learn a new sport, you know, old sports. So, uh, I think T20 is very cool. I've, I've done some research and I've, I've kind of begun to understand what T20 is about. So, you know, if, if the guys do well, I'm going to be there for them. If they do bad, I'm going to be there for them. Uh, I don't know how much I'll do past this, but I'm here for the, for the minds. I'm here to tell you something, Chuck. U20 is very exciting. It's, it's a fun format of cricket. But the best format is test cricket. The aim of T20 is to gain new fans to cricket. But ultimately, once you watch test cricket, you will absolutely fall in love with the sport. Chuck, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Again, it's not a great day for cricket. It's unfortunate, as, actually. As it's raining cats and dogs here in South Florida. But it's an awesome day for the United States cricket team and for cricket in general. Because in guys like Chuck, we're in the Star Spangled Banner. We have new fans falling in love with the USA Cricket. Thank you. For the 2024 ICC World Cup here in the United States, ICC and the United States, we're looking to have new fans. And here's a new fan, camera of Cricket, who's been here for the last two days. But unfortunately, one thing has been missing, and that is cricket. Camera, how do you feel about these last two days here in South Florida? Um, coming here to see what cricket is all about. Um, how's it been? Well, I would love to see what it's all about and to enjoy the sport because I've never seen it rain. In the last couple of days, it's been raining because we were here Tuesday night and it rained it out. And we're here today and it rained it out. So hopefully, I hope I will get a chance to see it. And, and, and enjoy it and find out what you guys do. All right. So Tamara is a part of the lovely hosp hospitality crew here in the premium pavilion section where we have been well taken care of. We have food over here. We have drinks all day. But unfortunately, no cricket. No cricket. We're hopeful that the next two days 
tomorrow, India versus Canada. And on Sunday, Pakistan versus Ireland. Cricket can gain at least one new fan. Camera. That'll be me. All right. Now look for me. Camera. Thank you. Thank you. All right. What's your name? Roger. All right, Roger. All right, I'm here with uh, Nikki from uh, Broward County, Visit Lauderdale. Nikki, hi, how you doing today? I'm doing great. Awesome. So we're here at the Broward Central Broad Regional Stadium for the cricket match between the United States and Ireland. Unfortunately, the weather has gotten in the way so far of what should be a riveting contest. But the ground staff is out there and you're really working hard. Um, how do you feel about the environment? Obviously, there's no cricket going on, but how are you enjoying yourself and how are you enjoying the festivities? As you know, no, I am a Trinidadian. I was raised in Trinidad. I was raised playing cricket. I think it's exciting to have this in our county. As you know, we built the first U.S. sanctioned cricket stadium 17 years ago, and this was the reason why we wanted to host the World Cup. And we're doing it, weather permitting, yeah. but we're doing it. Yeah. Well, obviously, this is the second game of four, and we're hopeful to have better weather going into the weekend. You know, you're obviously very familiar with the local conditions. How do you see it going for this weekend? I mean. I I think that, you know, you know, we the first match was canceled because of weather. Today we have a chance. I think tomorrow we have a better chance. So I'm just gonna keep my fingers crossed and hope for the best. All right. One thing is for sure. Whether there is cricket today or not, we're all gonna have a great day. But if there's no cricket, the USA will be advancing to the Super 8s. Thank you very much, Nikki. You're welcome. All right. Awesome. Live and location here in the Central Broward Regional Stadium. As you can see in my background, it is not the sight you want to see when it comes to international cricket and the World Cup. Unfortunately, this game today between the United States and Ireland, the look at it is not going to happen for the United States team. As you can see, back the USA fans over there enjoy themselves. I think everyone is aware that the United States team will qualify as a result of this game. It's a no result, which means one point. For the United States, it's a win. For cricket here in South Florida, we would love to see the game happen. But, one thing is for sure, we're still gonna have a party.